So le let me know quickly on like what you're doing and give me more specifics so I can understand how to best help you in this situation. I mean, I'm just looking for like, you know, advice and shit, like just content because, you know, my views are falling, but like, you know, I don't want to make shit that doesn't make me happy type shit because like I can make videos that get a lot of views. Mm. It's just like, you know, it just like, I don't like want to make that kind of content. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So I think that I really, really, really like your content because you're, you're basically very rare type of people where I felt the vibe that you do not want to quote unquote scam your audience and make the quick buck. So this is good. This is why I reached out. If you're just one of, of, of those other guys where like they're just trying promoting NFT con NFTs just to make the quick buck. And I'm like, who cares? You're going to lose the other way. Since I think you're exactly. here for the long game and P and you have a stronger chance of building a stronger community. And the more you sacrifice the long term, the, sh the short term cash for the long term, like reliability and your brand name, basically, the more you make money. So this thing will compound. People will, people will sacrifice for short term cash and eventually one, two, three times they will lose and then that's it. Then they cannot build up their brand reputation. Whatever people see their face, it's over. Except if they want to have to wait like five to 10 years to wait for people to forget who they are, but still they won't be at the place where you will be until that point. So I think first of all is to diversify your risk. Since if you can agree that creators are kind of, of businesses and entrepreneurs, then you're building your business right now. And your business has a brand name, which clearly you understand to protect. So I think you should diversify your risk. How do you do that? Post as many different platforms as, as possible. Of course, you should focus your attention on the platforms that work most. But af after that, you should spend 20% of your time just like, I don't know, a little bit observing and just posting your videos on other platforms, including Snapchat, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. And that's about it. Basically, that's that's the most basic platforms that I think you should post. Of course, I think you should focus more on Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and YouTube most. But yeah, I think that you should post also on the other platforms because let's say Facebook does a big move and then it dominates TikTok for some reason. You don't know their companies are competing. Um, then you're going to be one of the people who stayed, promote and promoted content that is for our generation. Then you're going to be the only one who does that because no one does that. But this is very rare the case. I'm just giving an example of like if Pinterest does, it does a big move and everyone switches to Pinterest, you will have a whole portfolio of people watching and Pinterest will have a lot of videos for you to promote and you'll basically be dominating the platform because all this time you are posting the videos and getting no traction. So you never know what's going to happen. So yeah, that's the second tip that I will give you. The third one is like, build a strong community. How do you do that? You do that by providing as much value as possible. Either that is through jumping on calls with your fans, having a discord group where like you talk to them and you spend time with them and they become more connected to your brand or you move to more long form content. Because if you create like a 30 minutes, a 30 second TikTok compared to a 30 minute video on YouTube, then of course people will feel more connect connected to you on a 30 minute YouTube video. It's it's very obvious thing to say. And although you might not get like hundreds of thousands or like a million views on YouTube, it's still worth it. I mean, even even if a thousand people watch your one hour video and they and like twenty percent of those complete it, which is I don't know, um, I'm not very good at maths. Let's say two hundred people complete the video, then those two hundred people, if you do like a call to action at the end promoting them something, then I'm sure a very good percentage will buy. Whereas if you see like a 5 million um, TikToker who's just dancing and he just promotes like a product, no one would buy from him because all they care about is his abs or like him dancing or like, I don't know, rumor stuff. It's just to kill the day basically. So yeah, 100%. So people these days, all they care about is width and not depth. And I think people are scared to go against the norms because if they go against the norms and they fail, then they will say to you, hey, bro, I told you this. Why didn't you do this? But if you follow the norms and you fail, then you can blame them. Because like, hey, I, I followed what you, what you told me and it didn't work. So like you, you don't take responsibility. So this is, why, this is one of the reasons why people are scared 
of going against the norms, basically. So, yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah, I mean, I agree with your saying, right? Like, you know, expand your audience, actually, like, you know, have a call to action, you know. But, like, my question right now would be, like, it's, like, how to keep it sustainable. Like, let's say, you know, I get a million views a video. Like, how do I keep mm. that momentum going? You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. You mean, how do you keep those views going? Yeah, exactly. That's that's the problem that is disguised also as a benefit, which is a benefit for TikTok, let's say. Because the TikTok views are mostly organic and they're mostly get being shown to new people that you're getting a huge organic reach. So you're not getting a lot of returning viewers, which YouTube videos have. You know, YouTube videos have the potential of your video blowing up and you have a consistent amount of people coming back, which this is this is called organic reach if you're getting new people watching your videos. So you cannot get the same audience back. So you cannot predict like, hey, this video is going to get a, a million views or something. But on YouTube, if you keep building um, your brand, then more people will come back. So this is why I recommend you take your people, have a strong call to action at the end. To, for people to join your Discord and join others who are interested into this type of content that you produce. And you will say that there will be many more benefits for you, maybe a, like a weekly call with a guest or something, maybe someone else that you want to talk to about NFTs or whatever your brand is. It doesn't have to be only about NFTs. It could be about you maybe want to expand to other stuff and maybe show a little bit more about your personality. So you can tell them at the end, hey, like if you want to talk to me or join a community of people, click my link and buy and join my discord so that in your discord you can tell them maybe like i don't know open up notifications when a new message comes in or like when there is a new event happening so you will not be reliant on the tiktok algorithm or the instagram algorithm where like discord is the most safe place and there's not a lot of demand for their attention basically since on tiktok there's a lot of demand for their attention and it's very reliant on the competitiveness of the company. So it's a more of a risky move to keep your audience on TikTok because I'm sure you have seen multiple creators who have millions of followers but only get like, I don't know, 50,000 views or 10,000 views. It's yeah. because, yeah, it's because number one, they're shit. And number two, their audience is not watching their videos yet. So we will come to a point where the organic reach on TikTok will go away and we will stay with the same people watching us, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree with you definitely, you know, what you're talking about, because I've seen creators who were, you know, getting like millions and millions of views and millions of followers. And now if you go on their account, they're getting like five, 10K views. <laughs> but the problem with me is that like, I know I can do it. Like, I know I can get like millions of views. It's just like, it's like I've done so much content and I've done so much shit where it's like, do I just recycle the content? Because it's so hard to make new stuff, right? Everyone on TikTok. Like, I mean, you know, it's not like an ego thing, like, or anything. But, like, you know, when I first made that, like, the my 6 million views video or my 4 million views video, a lot of people who are making content now, it's because of those videos. Because they saw how well they did and how they could, you know, copy my thing. You know, this is not ego. You know, what they're doing, that's good. You know, it's working. That's, you know, if it's working, keep doing it. doesn't matter what you're doing. Mm. But, like, you know, it's like, how would I stand out now? You know, I think that you stand out by showing your personality. I don't know if you saw what's his name, Ryan Trahan. Do, do you know Ryan Trahan, the YouTuber? No, I don't think so. Okay, so basically, Ryan Trahan is a YouTuber who does like this mini challenges, like Mr. Beast, but on a more <laughs> like lower level. But he shows his personality, so he's not just another Mr. Beast person. He's not just another person doing like, challenges. He's also showing his personality. So this is differentiating him from the rest. So just showing who you are, basically, maybe maybe adding like an inside joke of your OG followers would, would help at the end. Maybe like, hey, if you didn't like, hey, guys, if you if you remember like the video that we have done in the past, some stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. So you, how you differentiate is just focus on yourself, be you, show your personality and just create your own stuff. Even if you get an idea or inspiration from another person, but you turn it out in your own way and you make it like a switch, then that's fine because it's very hard to come with, up with original ideas. For example, Elon Musk, everyone praises Elon Musk for being such an innovator, but his ideas are not out of this world. It's like electric cars, which already existed, but it's hard to make, and like electric spaceships, 
which is not a new invention. Spaceships existed. It's just taking it to yeah. another level. So you should take sp people's stuff, switch it in your own way if possible, get some inspiration, take it to the next level. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, wait. I mean, what you're saying is absolutely like facts. You know, like it's uh, it's true what you're saying. I mean, you know, it's just so hard. You know, to keep making new stuff and keep bringing new people in when it's not like there's not there's not a lot of like even if I start a YouTube channel, like you know, what can I do to like d differentiate? Because you know, I'm watching people like Champs. You know, Brett. You know, they they like. Why would you want to watch me? give you alpha when you could watch them right when even i watch them so you know it's just like it's just hard for me yeah so i think that people should watch people could watch you for a new perspective for a new person coming up who his videos are amazing and they love their vibe and they like and they love what they're doing because you're gonna say things in a different way that people may like you know like those people started from zero most people started from zero, but slowly, slowly they got they started getting awareness because of the growth, the, the NFT search that people are, people are looking for for the NFT videos because it, there's a lot of demand right now. So they start building like brand and stuff. So now they're very trustworthy because Brett is not trying to make a quick buck here. He's just providing a lot of advice for people. So this is why he's building his brand. So yes, it's just you. No one can copy you, and no one. There's no one you can copy, basically, even if you try, because you cannot exactly copy someone's vibe and someone's like way of talking. Of course, they can spend hours trying to study you, how you talk and stuff. But like, that's that's ridiculous. Of course, you will think in a different way than Brett. Of course, it's basically irrational not to believe that you think in a different way because we have like millions of thoughts per day. I don't know, hundreds of thousands of thoughts differently in our brain. It won't be nowhere as close to Brett or any of those people. Yes, you may reach to the same conclusion, but how you reach the same conclusion may be different. So I don't think no one's thoughts is the same and the way of rephrasing it is the same. You basically, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, like what you're saying is, you know, true. Like it's completely true. It's like, it's so hard to like, you know, actually like actually do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's like, let's say, let's say, you know, with my uh, TikTok, right? I'm getting like, you know, millions of views and I'm like, okay, guys, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, let's go. The thing is, I make short form content and to make that like a five minute, eight minute, 10 minute video is just like crazy because I make videos less than 30 seconds. So like, you know, I can have your attention. You can watch it. You can easily scroll. But on YouTube, it's way different. You, you need to do that and you need to make a really long video, like eight to 10 minutes or even five minutes, you know? So, you know, that's just what, like, I just fear. I say, okay, so you fear that you will spend a lot of time on a thing that won't get you as much it's views on TikTok? Ottawa, so yeah, basically. This is the deal. Okay. So, I mean, it's all about risk, you know? Like, since it's, it's a business, then you will take the risk. And if you succeed, then you will you will receive the benefit. Is it worth it? Yes, but you have to put in a significant amount of work. Of course, you cannot get like a very strong community and double the, not even double the money, like five to 10 extra money on sponsors from a YouTube video compared to a TikTok video and expect to do like the same amount of work and expect to, take, to get them the same amount of views from the start. This is why a lot of people will lose in the long term. They don't have the humility to start over they, do, they, they, they feel safe where they succeeded and they don't want to take the extra step of starting somewhere new, which is risky if they know like this is working. And I feel that, but it's all about like, it's all about, it's all about options. You want to do it? Sure. You take the risk or you take the benefit. You don't want to do it? You play it safe. You take the risk of remaining where you are, hoping that TikTok will continue dominating. Ah, oh, yeah, man. It's so, it's just so hard, man. Like competing with people that like, you know, are just like in it for the money. Like they're in it for the quick buck. Like I've seen people, they're going to make one good video. It gets like, you know, more than 500 K views. And then the next 10 video promo, 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 promo. And it's like, it's those people that give views and those people that capitalize on it. I'm just like, you know, like, that's just crazy to me. Like, I just don't get it. 
Hey man, sure, sure. I mean, you can monetize and you can make money so you can spend it on your brand. But I think you should make it in an original way. And you, like, the more you withstand and not promote your audience, the better. But of course, you will need money to start building your brand. So at least if you're going to do it, for sure, make it in a way that's real to your brand and communicate in a way to your audience that is correct and stuff. And also use the money for the right purposes so you can actually prove to your audience that, hey, I kept my word and I spend those money on the company. Because for sure, when Mr. Beast shows us an ad, we don't really care. I hope you know who Mr. Beast is. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. <laughs> we don't really care because, bro, he's spending $3 million on a video and he has a freaking normal house with a freaking normal car. I'm well, fine. Show me 10 ads if you want. No problem. Like, you're spending millions of dollars on a video. So, and, and he keeps his promises. So, I'm, like, I'm fine. So, if if I was your audience and you were, and you were, I was receiving a huge amount of value from you and you were being honest, which is no one else on the social media is honest and stuff, and you keep your word and you promote me something that I, I'm, I'm interested in, sure and you tell me like in an honest way hey guys i need this money to spend on my company i'm like sure why not i'm not gonna stop watching you over this thing but if i'm watching someone who basically is lying to me and comes out with a product that is completely unrelated something about i don't know health products what the frick and i'm watching nfts and they're lying to me like hey guys i really think this product and i'm using this product right now I'm like bro stop <laughs> yeah, and follow exactly. blog report i don't know <laughs> violence Literally, man, that's crazy. I'm, I, bro, you're crazy, bro. Like, I really mess with you, man. And I really so think, if you look sorry, sorry, sorry for interrupting, but nah, you I, can, think you that, I think that first, you should spend all your time building your Discord community ASAP, 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 ASAP. Or if not Discord community, you should build, you can, you can get another phone number, you must build your WhatsApp community because WhatsApp is also another safe place to keep your audience. If I think you cannot do the third step, maybe in the future, the third step is like, like a telegram, to, is that what you're going to say? What? Is a, is a telegram? Is that what you're going to say? No, no telegram. Numu text. Okay. Numu text. I think it should be the third step. Like Discord, WhatsApp, same level. I would go for, I don't know, either or. And then the, 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 another step above that is like Numu text. Numu text is a game. It's a freaking game because no one can, no one can remove their phone number. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to change phone numbers? Because I don't know your yeah. phone number is less competitive yeah, than your other phone number. That's crazy. Yes, you can take you can change from WhatsApp to Viber, which is less chance, and you can change from Discord to Slack, which is less chance. But you can more easily change from Discord to Instagram. I mean, like now, who uses Messenger? Very low, not a lot of amount of people uses Messenger or Facebook. Our our age. I don't know if you're fourteen above. I'm not yeah, sure you're 14 no. above. No, I'm seventeen. <laughs> Yeah, so, 100%. Yeah. And I, yeah, I understand what you're saying, bro. Like, you know, it's just facts at the end of the day where it's like, you know, you need to branch out. But if you were to look at my content right now and you were to give me like a piece of advice to like keep going and to keep growing sustainably, what would your one advice be? What I just told you. All right. That's fair. That, that's fair. Do, do, do you think I didn't target enough what you just said? No. I, I know what you're trying to say. It's like, it's to expand my audience. But I'm, what I'm saying is like, what I could do like right now, like in a video to like, you know, really capitalize on everything. If you can get one of these, you'll Nothing. Be up good. It's just consistency of, col it's, it's just consistency of high quality content as much as possible with a consistent call to action to follow your Discord community. Well, your Discord community would be like, hey guys, at the end, like five seconds. Hey guys, I have a Discord community with me and my community and you will be able to talk to me and I won't sell you anything. Bye. That's it. When you say, when if I was your follower and you said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you're not going to sell me anything. and I'm going to talk to the person who I was watching and providing much value, bro. I'm following immediately. The key words is like, see why your people want to join the Discord community. Okay. And if, yeah. they, if, if there was like a way to test your call to action and to see what call to action works best, then that's it. Because content, it's all about testing, testing what type of content works works best, you know? This is why Gary Vee says like, qu 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 uh, quantity leads to quality. Because the more you test, the more you get feedback from your audience and the more you see like the views working and the metrics working, and the more like you see like your audience comments and you get feedback from it. So it, you, might, you gotta find a way to see 
if, even if it's possible to see like the call to action each video that you have to see which is the most effective. So you use that and understand the reason why your audience is clicking and joining your Discord community. But I think one of the reasons is one, talk to you, have a community of people who will not promote them anything and you will not sell them anything, you know? And it will be a community of like honest people, not scammers, no nothing. This is what they want. They want people who are the same interest on in them and be like a very strong connection to them. So yes, I think yeah. step number one, diversify your portfolio. Step number two, transfer it as much as possible to WhatsApp or Discord, okay? Number three, you can then promote to your people in the Discord stuff, but don't do it too much. 100%. I love this call, man. I love that. Thank because you so much for everything, girl. No problem. And I think one more piece of content is that even if you don't promote anything to your audience, down the line, you can start your own step-by-step -step process of becoming a creator and you can offer it to people other than your than your audience. Yeah. So there's many, there's many ways to monetize. And I think people underestimate the power of books and eBooks. Sure. Books and eBooks don't make a lot of money, but the amount of brand and value you give to your audience and the amount of love they, they, they have for you after reading that book, if it's amazing, actually would be great. So this is why after the book, you can come up with a conference, let's say, which is like 10,000 euros per ticket. I'll be like, sure, bro. He changed my life through that book. He spent like years on that book. So of course I'm going to go buy that conference and stuff. But the moment you do something wrong with your brand, it's game over. You can no longer capitalize on that. Because right now I just, I just spent a majority of my money on an NFT for Gary Vee. That's it. Which one was it? Some uh, book games. I'm not sure who, which one. Gratitude, gratitude, I think. Something like that. I'm not sure. What, oh, okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Stuff. It's one of the, the ones like people got for like only like 12 bucks. No, bro. Bought it for like $800, I think. Damn. So yeah, I bought it. I, I, I just put it out. I'm like, okay, let me see it. I can afford it. Bam. Bought it. No, I didn't even do my research. I'm like, okay, it's Gary V. I'm not going to regret it. I have the chance of buying like, I think I, think I have the chance of exchanging it with a V friends. I'm not quite sure. Don't trust me on that. I don't That's know crazy. about NFTs. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, man. So yeah, that's cool. Oh, and I think one one thing that um, you can do, you can start reposting other people's content, of course, crediting, thing, crediting them on another page and stuff. Cool, like, I don't know, uh, something, NFT HQ or I don't know, Kiri HQ, let's say. And Bro, a fun fact about an account mm -hmm. named NFT HQ, they actually stole one of my videos on Instagram and got 500k views. Bro, you should post every single one of your video from TikTok to Instagram. By the way, yeah, bro, that's fun. By the way, I know the owner of that person who also have like passionate income, and they didn't steal you. He he credited. He, I think oh yeah, he, put he did. Credit, he did. Right? It's it's like all the way at the bottom though, but like you know, it's yeah, so good. Still. Like you know, it's not a bad thing. It's not. It, that's what I think of it. It's not a bad thing because, you know, I'm still being put out there, and it's not me. People mm -hmm. are putting me out there, which is crazy. Mm, yeah. But bro, I think that also if you, I gotta go in a few minutes, but one last thing, I think that of course you chose not to show your face, but I think if you show your face, then you will have like more <sighs> credibility. Yeah. Yeah. It's your face, bro. Your face cannot change. So you will be there forever. Even if they don't follow you, like, or I don't know, follow you or remember you, they will see your face and they'll remember like, oh wait, I saw some of his videos and let me go see his videos. Oh yeah, it's this video and stuff, you know? Yeah, I mean, I get what you're trying to say, and I want to pull my face out, like you said, but don't you think, like, you know, since don't, a lot of people don't like NFTs, right? So let's say I make videos with, you know, my face, and as soon as people see my face, they're like, oh, scroll, because I already know this guy's going to talk about NFTs, you know what I mean? Don't your videos start about NFTs? Yeah. So they're going to realize that they're way. <laughs> they're going to realize it, bro. Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, there's, there's a lot of people who care about NFTs and you're not trying to reach anyone. Bro, if you if you get a thousand people who are willing to spend like $500 uh, per month with you, that's like, I don't know, $50,000 per month. 
All you need is a thousand committed fans through your Discord. And that's it. That's true. Build your Discord, hire a moderator, talk to them as much as possible, and just keep posting content. And the money you make, hire an editor and hire someone to uh, have, have those ideas and build those ideas. And you just record the videos and you just spend time with your community on Discord and hire someone to invite guests on your podcast and just film the podcast and give it to your editor to basically have an agency. Then that's it.